Hello, I'm John Paul, and welcome to Rumour Brothers and our 2020 series of videos. You should subscribe to the channel and add a comment for the best comments received. We'll be giving away a £10 gift voucher for every video we do. Today I'm going to do an engine service on this Land Rover Defender TD5. I'm going to start with fitting a new air filter. So what I would do is I would just unclip the two little clips that hold the airflow meter on. So just pull that out of the air filter housing, place it to one side. There's a sensor on the side as well, just unplug that. And there's two clips, one at the side, one at the front. And then you can lift the top of the housing out. You'll see the two hooks at the back there. They hook into two loops at the back of the air filter housing. So just place that to one side. Remove the old air filter. Just place that to one side for a moment. Refit the new one. And you've just got to be aware that you just make sure those hooks go into the two loops at the rear. And once they're in place, you can then zip it forward, put your two clips back on, and then replace your air filter, at your airflow pipe, and your sensor on the side of the air filter housing. I'm now going to change the oil and filters. There's two oil filters on a a TD5. There's a conventional spin-on one, which I'm sure you've all seen, and that's located just underneath the turbo here. A little bit difficult to get to, but it is gettable. And then there's a centrifugal filter, which fits in a housing just down here, which I'll try and show you in a second. These are really, really good. If you'd ever cut one out, cut one open once they've been used, the, the amount of uh, muck in there is, is unbelievable how much they collect. So they're a really good idea. Now, there is an access platform to get to the oil filler on the top of the plastic housing, but we're going to take this housing off. It's just three 13mm spanner size bolts, two this side and one on that side. We'll take it off just so you can have a good look around, make sure all the pipes look okay and you no know, oil leaks under there and it's just, it's just worth taking it off at this stage. I'm not going to drain the oil. It's, it's worthwhile getting the engine warm, not ever so warm, but get it warm so the oil's a little bit thinner so when it comes out it's a little bit, uh, little bit easier to come out. So 17mm spanner on the sump plug or socket, whichever. Just make sure that the receptacle, whichever you drain it into, has got the capabilities of eight litres or so, because that's what it's got in here. And if you just take the sump plug out, and the oil will drain out. So we'll let that drain for a couple of minutes, then we'll come back. So we're just going to replace the sump plug now. We've put a new sump plug and washer on. So put it in by hand, and this one's talking up to 23 Newton metres. So let's get a torque wrench. Spin it all the way up. And then when it goes to the end, 23 Newton metres, that's the stump plug back in. The spin on oil filter that goes underneath the turbo is really difficult to get to. You'll need a quite a thin um, filter wrench so you can get it over, just above the turbo return pipe and then you have to get in and once it's slackened off and it is quite difficult to get especially when they're tight it's just a, an awkward job unfortunately but it's just one of those things that just has to be done so then you bring the filter out just get the new filter just a smidge of oil on the new seal which it goes all the way around and you can refit the new oil filter now once it's gone up to the so the seal is touching on the, on the uh, surface, you just need to do about a quarter of a turn. You, it doesn't need to be over, over tight, but obviously it wants to be tight enough not to fall off. So just tighten it up to the, to the top, and then, so just a quarter of a turn. You'll feel it, it wants to be hand tight, that's all. And then we'll move on to the centrifugal filter. The centrifugal oil filter is situated on here on this domed aluminium casting. There's just two 10mm spanner size bolts one each side. The cap only goes back in one way when you refit it. So then we'll just take that last bolt out and you remove the top cap. You see the seal there, we'll change that in a second. Place that to one side. Lift up the filter off the spindle and then to refit the new one just Put it back on the spindle, give it a quick uh, 
push down, give it a quick spin, and we get a small screwdriver, just prise up the old oil seal, place that to one side, refit the new seal, put the cap back on, and then replace our two bolts, and then that's it. I mean, don't need to tighten them too tight. They are just, they say they're only M6 bolts. So I'd imagine somewhere around you know, 15, 20 newton meters would be absolutely perfect for that. I'm going to top it up with oil, so just remove the cap. Now, it's suggested in the book that it's like between 7.2 and 8.2 liters, depending on application. So I'll be tempted to put the 7 liters in, check it, run the engine, and then top it up where necessary. I'm now going to change the fuel filter. As you can see, it's underneath the rear right-hand wheel and it's got a metal cover around the fuel filter. So it's just a little speed clip to undo it. So you just turn it one turn and then the other side is located by the two little pins that go in two holes in the rear bracket. As you can see, there's the fuel filter. It should have a water sensor in the bottom. This wire should go to it. It's been taken off for whatever reason. Um, and the top housing, it's aluminium, bolts onto the uh, top of the chassis there. Now they do corrode fairly, uh, fairly badly, so you have to, when you are taking off the fuel filter, just make sure you support it, because they, they do corrode and they do crack and fall off. And if they do do that, unfortunately, you've, you've got to buy a new one. Um, as you can see here, the, the, the fuel pipes have all been held on with cable ties because the, the little speed clips there, they, they do sometimes break on the inside edges. So on this, if this was a customer's vehicle, I'd advise, advise them to fit new fuel filter housing and new fuel pipes on this one. But in this, in this instance, we're just going to remove the fuel filter. It's just a case of spinning it off. Now the new fuel filter, make sure you get the centre seal out as well. The new fuel filter, we've just filled, I would I'd advise you to fill it with either fresh diesel or some diesel clean. This one we filled with diesel clean. So, then we, so that's in now. It's just a case of screwing it all the way back on. And then once it's on, you need to just turn the ignition on, leave it for five seconds and then start the engine. As soon as it has started, just give it a few revs just to keep it running. And then we'll replace the cover and that's the fuel filter done. That's the engine service finished on the Defender now. If you find what we do useful, press the like button, that's always helpful. And if you want any notifications of, of the next video we do, if you hit the notification button, you'll get an email telling you when we've done the next video.